taking a snapshot. Snapshots are a great and very powerful feature of VMware's ESX server. Snapshots let you preserve the state of a virtual machine so you can return to the same state repeatedly. A snapshot captures the entire state of a virtual machine at the time you take the snapshot. This includes the setting state, the disk state, and the memory state. The setting state contains the virtual machine settings. The disk state contains the state of all the virtual machine's virtual disks. The memory state represents the contents of the virtual machine's memory. Capturing the memory state is optional. So if you make some changes and they break things, you know, or something goes wrong, or you just want to go back to a particular point in time, you can with snapshots. Snapshots let you preserve the state of a virtual machine so you can return to the same state repeatedly. So let's take a look at making some snapshots. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a console on this virtual server. To do that, I'm going to right click on my Windows 2008 virtual machine and select Open Console. And let's say we've got this server just the way we want it. So it's a good running copy of this server. To take a snapshot of it is very simple. I'm going to open up WordPad and type in Friday 3 p.m. version and save that file. All we have to do is click this button here that says take a snapshot of this virtual machine. Taking a snapshot is a synchronous operation. All user operations to the virtual machine during this period are blocked for snapshot and data consistency. The time taken to develop a snapshot depends on the amount of data and the load on the server. On average, the time ranges from 30 to 40 seconds for minimal snapshot creation. And the virtual machine can be powered on, it can be powered off, or any other state. But what you want to remember is that whatever state you take the snapshot in, that's the state it's going to be in when you revert back to it. So if the virtual machine's powered on and you take a snapshot of it, you revert back to that snapshot. That machine is going to be automatically powered on. It's going to be in exactly the same spot. So that's the one thing you want to note. So I'm going to click on that button and take the snapshot. Then you can give it a name. I'm going to call this one Friday 3 p.m. version since it's our first snapshot. And we can say this is our clean OS install. Snapshot the virtual machine's memory? Yes, because it's running. So we definitely want to do this. I'm going to click OK. And that's it. You've taken a snapshot. It's just that easy. Now I'm going to back into our virtual infrastructure client and you can see the progress. Here's the snapshot. It can go fairly quickly if your hard drives are pretty small and it's completed and it's just that simple. So now you've taken a snapshot. To look at the snapshot history, let's open up the snapshot manager. To display the snapshot manager, right click the virtual machine in the inventory, then select snapshot, then snapshot manager from the menu. This is the snapshot we just took, Friday 3 p.m. version. And notice it says, you are here. The you are here icon represents the current state of the VM and never a snapshot itself, but rather the virtual machine state after the parent snapshot. A snapshot is always a static record of a virtual machine state. The you are here state can be operational and changing. Even when you create a snapshot of a powered off or suspended virtual machine, the you are here state is not identical to the snapshot. You cannot go to or select the you are here state you are here always represents the current and active state. So in the next section, we're going to look at reverting back to a particular snapshot. To summarize, a virtual machine can have one or more snapshots. Each snapshot consists of the following files. Snapshot differences file, vm underscore name dash zero, number sign delta dot vmdk, where number sign is the next number in the sequence starting with one. Snapshot description file, vm underscore name dash zero, number sign dot vmdk. Memory state file, vm underscore name dash snapshot name dot vmsn. Size of this file is the size of the VM's maximum memory. Only if memory is captured, else the file is much smaller. Did you know that after watching our videos, you can sign up for a week of remote access to our VMware lab? It's custom built and allows you to actually practice on enterprise grade VMware servers and storage. viadmin.com provides a remote server environment or VMware practice lab composed of vSphere ready lab servers for class or individual use. You can sign up at www.viadmin.com for access to the lab. You get one dedicated server with lots of memory, plenty of network cards, co-training servers in a cluster, two shared SAN LANs, management station, and a KVM controller to manage your server. Within the VMware lab, you can set up any scenario including multipathing, high availability, vMotion, 
fault tolerance, DRS, create 10, 15, or more virtual machines, and test all of the VMware advanced features. One more thing, we have an instructor-led vSphere training consisting of live mentoring, e-labs, and e-lectures, all delivered online. The training offers the professional a specialized tutoring platform that isn't available elsewhere and includes a schedule that matches your particular needs, live one-to-one -one tuition with an instructor, various labs, and Q&A sessions, and the chance to master VMware virtual infrastructure on a real-life teaching environment. Our VMware virtual mentoring goes far beyond mere video teaching. With access to a live tutor, you'll be helped through the different labs and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and learn even more. So if you're really looking to gain hands-on VMware experience, you've come to the right place. Sign up for VMware Lab, self-managed access, or join one of our instructor-led trainings today. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a special YouTube subscribers bonus. When you sign up for access to our VMware Lab, Send us your YouTube username and we'll give you an in-depth, easy to follow, step-by-step -step lab book with lots of exercises and over 200 pages of top quality training for free.